When you spin up a fresh Linux server, do you feel safe? You've heard for decades that Linux is the gold standard for security, that it's bulletproof compared to Windows. But what if that feeling of safety is actually your biggest vulnerability? What if the very distributions you trust are intentionally leaving your digital front door unlocked just to make things more convenient? We are talking about millions of lines of code where bugs hide for years in plain sight. Is Linux actually secure or have we all just been sold a very comfortable myth? Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer and we're passionate about helping companies protect their organizations. With 10 years of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years of software development, I've assisted countless teams with their security and penetration test requirements. Get ready. We're tearing down the secure by default facade and looking at why your fresh install is actually a hacker's playground. We need to address the elephant in the server room. Linux is a robust platform, but it is not a secure product right out of the box. Distributions like Ubuntu or CentOS have a hidden agenda. They want your experience to be smooth. Many popular distros prioritize a just works philosophy, which often means shipping with a bloated attack surface full of unnecessary packages and legacy protocols. You might have silent services like Avahi or RPC Bind running in the background, listening on public interfaces without you ever clicking a button to turn them on. Default SSH setups are frequently too permissive, allowing password-based logins that act as a giant welcome sign for brute force botnets. Security is isn't a simple toggle switch you flip. It's a grueling manual process of closing the doors the developers left open for your convenience. Quick pause, please leave a comment right now. It is truly my favorite thing to see your thoughts and it's the best compliment you can give me. Do you trust your default install? We've all heard that open source is safer because many eyes are watching the code, but that logic has some serious holes. The Linux kernel is a massive beast with over 30 million lines of code, making it statistically impossible to prevent every single structural fragility from creeping in. The many eyes theory fails because while millions use Linux, only a tiny fraction of developers actually audit the deep, dark corners of the core kernel code. This allows critical bugs to persist for years, hiding in legacy code that maintainers are often too pressured to properly refactor while chasing new features. We see a constant patch and pray cycle where maintainers like Linus Torvalds have to balance high-speed innovation with the crushing weight of technical debt. It's a struggle of maintenance where the sheer complexity of the system becomes the ultimate enemy of a truly hardened environment. If you're serious about protection, you have to move past the out-of-the-box mindset and adopt a defense in depth model. Start by killing the trust and move to verify by immediately auditing your active ports before that server ever sees the public web. You must enforce a deny all firewall policy using UFW or IP tables, only whitelisting the specific essential traffic your application actually requires to function. Stop using passwords entirely and shift to SSH keys. It's a foundational step that eliminates 90% of the low hanging fruit for automated attacks. Isolate your services by running them under non-root users and leverage private networking for internal com communication to keep your data off the open internet. So what's your take on this vulnerability? Think this could be a major issue? I really enjoy engaging discussions, so drop a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Because at Startup Hack, we're passionate about helping companies secure their business. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years of software development, I've assisted countless teams with their security and pen testing needs. So reach out today and let us help. Check out Startup Hack Security.